This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. This happens to be a 1998 model. And the procedure that we're going to be doing today will pertain to 96 through 99 models. And what we're doing today is we are converting over the three wire horn to a two wire horn. First thing we need to do is jack up the car, support it on jack stands, take the left front tire wheel assembly out of the way, and then remove this plastic wheel house right here. There's a bunch of push pins and some seven millimeter screws here in the front. Actually, there's three of them right here in the front. And remove that piece. Next, we need to remove the left headlight assembly. If you need to know how to remove it, I do have a video on it. Here are all the parts you need to convert your satin horn over. Now what I did is I went to the junkyard and I got these horns off of a 99 Cadillac DeVille. The reason I chose that particular year and model was they used a smaller Klaxon type horn. Uh, the older ones had the um, Delco Remy. So we use those. And when you get your horn, get the mounting captive nut and the bolt that goes with it because you'll be using that. Make sure you cut off a small amount of wire and the connector. And over here on the right, what I did is I took a wire that went down to the crankshaft position sensor on a GM car. I believe this was a Chevy Lumina and that will give us some wires to tie our horn in. Next we need a relay. What I did is I bought some parts online from a company called All Electronics and this particular relay is model number 531. It's a 12 volt 4 pin relay and then we need a diode and uh, we're going to use a 3 amp diode and the number on that is G1 or GI851 there's four of them but you'll only be using one so those are all the parts we need next we need to label the three wires that go to the stock horn now the orange wire is the power wire and the two black wires are ground wires. One goes to the horn button, the other one goes to the chassis ground. And in order to find out which is which, we're going to take our multimeter, go to the ohm scale, and take our negative lead, put that to a ground. Now we take off the electrical connector from the horn and we'll take the positive lead with a little paper clip and we'll probe the black wire. We'll start with the end one here and see what happens. Okay, that is chassis ground. The middle one should show nothing on the meter because that should be the horn button and that's what it is middle wire horn button one on the right chassis ground so you want to label those now next we need to pull the horn fuse which is located in the fuse panel underneath the hood right here it's the corner fuse right there if you don't know which one it is check the underneath of the fuse box cover right there. It will show you where all the fuses go. 
this one right here right there in the corner next thing we did we twisted the green wire from both horns together and soldered them that is the live voltage wire to the horn and then the black wire we twisted them together and soldered them also that is the ground now I took one of these connections from that uh, piece that I showed you I took from the crank sensor and I tinned or soldered the ends of the wires here the red wire will go to the relay the green wire will go to the relay and the black wire will go to the ground of the horn so that's the one we're going to solder right now all right there's the ground wire all soldered in next thing we need to do is bring our relay over and we're going to solder the red wire to number 85 now on this relay see if I can point it out to you this one right here in this corner right here so you have one pin here here and one there there and this corner one right here is going to be our 85 so we're going to solder that red wire to that pin right now next thing we did was solder this green wire from the connector this is the wire that goes to the horn wire so this is our orange wire from the car feeding current into the relay and this is the wire from the horn button next thing we did was solder this jumper in from pin 85 to pin 30 the middle one on the relay right there now the last wire we soldered to the relay were these two green wires from the horn if you remember those are the live wires to the horn that is the output that corner pin is the output which is uh, pin 80 it would be pin 87 and we soldered that on the relay now the last thing we did was we soldered the diode from the orange wire to the horn button remember this is the green wire to the horn button and this is the orange wire now see that band on the end of the diode that has to be facing the current or the orange wire it has to be soldered on that way right there now after I got all everything soldered I took some JB weld and put it on the relay on the top around the wires to stiffen up where the wires go into the pins because they're a little bit delicate here is the area underneath the front of the fender where we're going to be mounting our horn and if you look right here you can see the old horn in front of the AC dryer now remember that piece I told you you needed to get at the junkyard this piece right here the bolt and the captive nut that piece right there this is a, another one that I had and this is where it goes right here it goes right in this little window right here and there will be a little hole right next to it and it fits right in there that's where we're going to mount the horns here's what the horns look like all mounted you can see that the forward horn is very close to the AC dryer right there and this one is in this position and we have about this much space right here where I drew this line so we're good to go next thing we need to do is to transplant this connector that we took from our other piece that we got from the crank 
sensor connection and we need to cut this one right here now make sure you label them before you do this I've got them labeled horn button body ground and we know that the red and the orange go together so what we'll do is we'll cut those right there Now we gotta strip back our wires and solder them together. And uh, if you want, you can put some uh, shrink tubing on there, and it'll make it look pretty good. Here's a new wire, all soldered. I uh, salvaged some of that conduit from that wire, and uh, it looks pretty good. All I have to do now is hook it up to the horns. All right, now now we. Just have to take the connector and plug it in. There we go. This is the area right here where the old horn was. Here's the connection. If you look right here, there is a little connect, connector right here, a barbed end. Now I see a hole right where the horn was. I think that will fit right in there nice. Keep the uh, connector from moving around. Oh, look at that. Like it belonged there. Beautiful. Can you see that? Look at that. Perfect. Now let's go try the horn. Now before you try your horn, make sure you uh, put the 10 amp horn fuse back in, which I just did, and here we go. Holy mackerel! That's no Saturn horn! That's nice. That's nice. That's a job well done. So that's all there is to converting a two-wire horn to your Gen 2 Saturn.